Hey guys, CJ Hernandez here. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day today. Today's shock video will be focused on the Techno EB410 front shock. Now this is an emulsion shock, so if you are building a bladder shock, you will have to do it a bit differently. Due to having the bladder, there will be different steps. So just consider that and definitely look for a bladder build, which hopefully I will do one soon. Now let's get building. We're going to get our X rings, put a bit of Protec grease, and what the Protec grease is going to do, it's going to seal the X ring or O ring. Now you can also get green slime, and what this does is when you seal the X ring, it's going to prevent oil penetrating the X ring. Now that's going to do a couple of things. By sealing the X ring or O ring, you are allowing for more consistent performance to come forth. Because if you don't seal the X-ring or O-ring, the X-ring or O-ring is going to blow because the shock oil is going to hit it. Now what that's going to do, it's going to, when it bloats the O-ring, it's going to bind the shock shaft. Because as the X-ring bloats, it's going to bind the shock shaft and when it moves up and down, it's going to feel stiffer. So if you originally put 30 weight, it's going to feel like 35 weight. So right now, this is why we really greased these X rings, O rings, and the Dillerin insert. This just further extends the life of the X ring or O ring and allows more consistent performance. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to put the shock end, turn counterclockwise once you hear the click. You're going to tighten it hand tight once you've done that, this step is done. Next, we're going to focus on to the shock shaft. Now, if you're building a new kit, you'll have to install the shock piston onto the shock shaft. And you simply do that by seating it in there and tying the set screw. And I highly recommend that when you install the set screw, you have Loctite. Now, we did put an ample amount of grease into the X rings and there may be a little bit of access. However, we're going to get that out right now. When you install the shock shaft into the shock body, you're going to pull it down and you're going to see some excess off. Now what I like to do is wipe the excess off with my finger and then get my shock pliers in the three millimeter position, start tying the shock end. Now by leaving a bit of grease on the shock end, this allows installation to be a bit easier as it is lubricated. And we're going to keep tying it until it's about hand tight. Once it's hand tight, you want to double check and make sure you have smooth shock action. If you do not have smooth shock action, you may have a ripped X-ring or a worn X-ring, which also, by using the Protec grease or green slime, you will extend the life of your X-ring as it is lubricated. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our PT Racing Oil 500 CST into the shock body. Now what I like to do is fill the shock body all the way up. And then we're going to pump three to five times. For this video, we're gonna pump five times so we're thorough. So we're going to do it nice and slow. Once we have pumped it five times, you're going to notice bubbles start rising to the surface. I would like to show this in the video, but I feel like I will drip shock oil if I turn it to the camera. So trust me that when you'll see a bit of air bubbles. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to top it off just a hair. And I like to get it a little ovaled or where you see the shock oil to the tippy top of the shock body. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to get our 1.5 millimeter wrench, get our set screw, insert it into the tip as so. Then we're going to get our shock cap, which we have already installed the O-ring inside. We're going to set it on top of the shock body. We're going to turn counterclockwise until you 
feel it see or hear a click. Once you hear it, you'll know because you hear a little click. Once you do that, you'll start turning clockwise and you will do this hand tight. It is, a, it is a plastic shock cap, so don't over tighten it as it is plastic. You don't want to warp the threads inside. So once it is tight, at a 45 degree angle, we're going to start pushing the shock end into the shock body. Now this is going to bleed oil, and what this is doing, it's making sure you have the right amount of oil into your shock body. We're going to push it all the way down, and it's at a 45 degree angle, you should see some discharge come out of the shock cap. You're going to keep pushing until the shock end is all the way up. Once you've done that, you will insert the set screw and you will lightly snug it, ever so lightly. If you over tighten this, you will strip the cap. Once you have done it lightly, you're going to wipe the excess shock oil off with your rag. Once you have done this, we're going to pump the shock shaft into the shock body about 20 times. And what this does, it oxidizes the oil. Once we have cleaned it, we're going to pump it 20 times. Once you have pumped it 20 times, you're going to unscrew the set screw. And then at a 45 degree angle, you're going to bleed the shock. So you, again, you're going to push the shock end into the shock body at about a 45 degree angle. And you should see some discharge come out. Get you guys a view. As you can see, discharge is coming out of the shock cap. Once you are all the way up, you're going to insert the set screw. Snug it very lightly. Does not to be need to be super tight at all. Once you have done that, you will wipe, that, wipe off the excess oil. And then to test that you built it correctly, you should pull down on the shock shaft and it should go back into the shock body as so. Give you guys another view. As you can see, it moves a little bit. And that's how you build an emulsion shock. Final step is we're going to insert our spring. We're going to install our spring cup. Once you do that, to double check you did your work right, we are going to push on the shock end and you should feel all oil. If you feel air, you need to rebuild your shock as you slightly messed it up. But if you feel nice, smooth oil action, you've done it correctly. Once you have figured out whether you've done your shock correctly or not, you will insert the set screw. And that is how you build a Techno EB410 shock, and that is how you maintenance your shocks. And that's a super smooth shock. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions or need further details, please comment on the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed your day. And I hope to see you guys on the next time. Please like and subscribe for more RC content. Thanks for watching, guys.